Okay, welcome back. Um, for this particular screencast, uh, what we want to talk about is how to pick a proper domain name. And one of the tools that I use in this uh, is Google, in particular the traffic estimator. So what we're going to do is jump onto Google. We're going to look for traffic estimator. And normally it'll be the number one thing that'll pop up the Google AdWords traffic estimator. Now, if you don't have an AdWords account, it's not a problem. You don't have to sign in or anything. This is a free tool that Google puts out. And what it will do is give us an idea of what our website keywords might generate as far as traffic. And remember, if people are looking for the specific keywords that you're going to be promoting, whether that's on a, um, a blog or a website or maybe something you're trying to sell, that's going to make it more likely that they're going to be able to find you via Google and free traffic is good traffic. Um, sometimes you got to pay for it, but for the most part, you can generate a lot of free traffic and that's what we want to go for. So in this particular case, I want to look for study skills. And the reason I'm going to look for study skills, let me type that in real quick, is because I'm developing a study skills course. So let's type in study skills. We're going to look and see exactly here type this is just a little thing to make sure that's not a robot coming around looking for stuff but it's proves I'm human and we're going to estimate what study skills will bring so right now kind of a rough estimate what this is saying here is 90,000 people about 90,000 people are looking every month for study skills they typed this in the Google come up with study skills locally it's about 50,000 um, for me I'm, I'm really more concerned about this particular one um, local is also good. We do a lot of worldwide business as well. So, um, you know, it's good to know that number, but again, half of it local. Um, and then what this is telling us here is 89 cents per click. Now that's because I, if I wanted to do an AdWords campaign and Google's basically saying, okay, if you want to pay us to place ads, whenever somebody types in the term study skills to be ad number one or two, it's going to cost you about 89 cents for every single click that CPC cost per click. So this kind of gives you an idea of what budgeting. Now they're saying if you are spending about 89 cents and remember this is all an estimate, you would expect to get about 27 clicks a day. You'll probably pay about 25 bucks. Now um, we'll probably cover some of this stuff in, in a more advanced course, but let's see what happens if I told Google, you know what I want to pay just 18 cents a click so I want to pay a maximum of 18 cents a click I want to use those words study skills and I want to know about how many times somebody might be expected to click on my ad so study skills 18 cents every time I'm willing to pay Google let's estimate and see what that does all of a sudden my clicks drop down to 13 so I'm about halfway from where I was I was at a max of 27 now I'm only at 13 a day that I should get but look what happened here all of a sudden Google saying you know what we will probably put you in position number four but now you're only paying 13 cents a click a couple bucks a day so it went from $25 a day to a couple bucks a day what happens if I bump that up to 25 estimate it now I'm at 16 clicks a day average position of about three and remember this is all an estimate this is no guarantee but uh, it does give you an idea of about where you would be when it comes to AdWords for our purposes, I'm really going to use this. I'm going to erase this here because for now, I really don't care. Um, but it is kind of fun to click around. For our purposes, I want to find a domain name. Now, studyskills.com is already taken. I know that because I've already done a little bit of research. However, since I'm developing a study skills course for students, I want to see how many people are looking for that. Um, I might also want to see how many people are looking for student study skills. All right, so let's take a look at this. So we're going to estimate it. And again, it'll keep your original up here. You can change this. It'll match down here. So right now, about 90,000 people worldwide looking for study skills every single month. About 4,400 when it comes to study skills for students and about 1,000 when it comes to searches, specifically student study skills. 
So potentially there could be, you know, from 500 to 1,000 people or 2,400 to 44,000, for, excuse me, 4,400 people that might be interested in something for specifically study skills for students. I'm thinking my domain name is somewhere in here. So the other thing I like about it is there's a couple of main keywords, study skills and study skills. This one's not bad because study skills are first. This one's not horrible because study skills are at least in there. So people searching for study skills may also come across mine um, or they would be more likely to come across it than if it were like a typical company name. So to, quickly to review, um, go to Google, type in traffic estimator. It will bring you to this website. There's your traffic estimator. Pop in a few different words. It'll give you an idea of how many people are currently searching for it. And that'll give you an idea of sort of what your market looks like. Um, and in particular, you can use it for your domain names because if your domain name contains your keywords, it's more likely to rank higher on the search engines. If you're building a blog or something with some real content that's updated all the time, that will also help. So take a bit of time, play around with the traffic estimator, get an idea of different keywords, get an idea of playing maybe with that cost per click or your daily budget, just to get a handle on what is possible or what the estimated results might be. Um, it'll help you become a little bit more comfortable with working with Google and Google AdWords when we get to that. Um, play around with that keyword tool if you feel like skipping ahead for those who are paying attention, it's right up here. Um, but I'll make another video on that in a little bit. And then uh, for now, we're gonna click over and move on to GoDaddy because I wanna take a look at some domain names and uh, let's jump in and see if one of these three happen to be available. Thanks again for watching. Any comments are greatly appreciated. If you have any questions, I can be reached on the blog or of course on Facebook. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.